stared out of the windshield to the rain so light I put on my dims somebody flash their bright Turn the radio way down low. Your sister cried all the way home. Lightning. dog came out of the ditch then he disappeared and I reached over turned the radio way down Just to cry.
So, yeah, I think we might be having an internet problem. We got what we got. The, um, the signal isn't as strong as it is on Sunday at 2, but uh, we are not in charge of Comcast. So uh, if it gets fuzzy, we apologize, but we have no control over that. Yeah, we don't even have control over the video settings. Thank you, Lucy. It's not OBS, so we can't change it to yeah, we, uh, 720. Um, we have a probably very busy neighborhood. Everybody's online right now, and we got a weaker signal than we should have, but we're going to keep going. Cool. Got me an apartment on the east side, fourteen eleven to thirteen streets. I walk on the tracks by the Cumberland River over the bridge, past lovers' leave.
Shay, do you have um, do you have that little stand for your phone still? Yeah. You play one. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna experiment with something. Well, using the phone? I think I might be able to keep our audio and use the phone as a camera. We can see if that helps. Um, done this once before with Ashley and Kenny. <laughs> it was a All right. So if let's you don't mind. Uh, put the phone over there. Mm -hmm. What do you need? That little stand that you have? It's on the stand. When we make our YouTube videos? Oh, uh, it's up there. Okay. You can do what you're doing. Talk to these nice people. Thank you. Would that take uh, less wattage to use the phone? Sometimes it just works. I, I, I experimented with it with, um, with Ashley and Kenny. It works, so. Jamie's working on getting us a better video. the iPhone rigged up here and we're going to turn the desk top off and see if uh, we can get better video for y'all because looks like Comcast is weak right now we don't have the signal we usually have and it worked Cecil thank you Jamie Harris we'll see I don't know if I can get it to work we'll see I don't know if this will be much better but bother because you're because <laughs> you don't know what I'm doing yet that's what I'm asking you to play a song because it'll take a while to get the setup Same. It's 
still blurry? <laughs> We're gonna see if the one on the right is not, not blurry. Same. No, the one on the right it's not blurry. blurry. Great, let's go with it. Are we in the frame? I'm not so good at that. I'm, I, I, so I was just hoping you'd play a song because I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to do this under pressure. I'm so nervous. You could probably, do you have a better book suggestion? That's Well, you've got about 200 tripods downstairs. I know, that's true. Let's, uh... The bummer is, is that, like, I can make one picture small and the other... This is, like, the behind-the-scenes. Y'all didn't know y'all are gonna get... Okay, move that. <laughs> I can't know y'all are gonna get all this. Okay. Let's do this. Like, the real behind-the-scenes. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, see? Is it good? Yeah. All right, let's roll. It's so much better as visual. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a little better anyway. Get your guitar, let's play. I don't know which one is, why is there two? Because the sound is coming from the left one and the video is coming from the right one. The only thing, it's annoying, like, I can make this one small, but I can't make that one small. So we are just both the same size. So they're listening on the left and seeing us on the right. Four nights alone in Amsterdam And I missed you everyone I wish this trip was over and It's only just begun I don't know when I'll see you again I can't think of it It's more than I can bear I know I only kissed you once But I hold it on my lips now Like a prayer Sorry I see me in the window Of an old cafe On the boulevard Looking hunkered down and blown around And I don't know what I'm out here for Stood alone last night by the streetlights Aching for you Then I watched the snow fall in Berlin From a hotel room on Karl Marx Avenue Oh, please, I need your love. Oh, please, I need your love. I dreamed of you in Belfast and woke up to the echo of your voice I roam the streets of Dublin talking to myself about love and choice I forgot the dream in Aberdeen and panicked cause it felt like you were gone I called your number in despair and you laughed at me. Thank God I was wrong. Oh, please, I need your love. 
Oh, please, I need your love. I kissed you once and then I left and I was hoping that you might remember me. I didn't even try to stay, I was teasing you with the possibility. I set a trap but I fell in and I don't think I'm finished falling yet. What I tried to do to you, I did to me. Looks like I'm working off the dead. Going crazy here without you, and it makes no sense at all. On my knees with my arms out, and my back against the wall. I miss you everywhere I go with an ache that just grows stronger town to town. And if you don't want me, babe, I hope I'm strong enough to just keep moving right. Oh, please, I need your love. Please, I need your love. Oh, please, I need your Somebody said, play the begging song. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so um, is this the one that people are seeing? Uh-huh. Or, okay, so it's not so bad. They just can't see the guitar. Yeah. It's... Well, you can probably figure. You're way better at visual than I am. I don't know. Uh, you go ahead and play something. I think we should absolutely, with my phone, take a picture of this, though, because this, this is really wreck. funny. And I think it's, <laughs> it's sitting on a... Bo a lit, uh, book of Bob Dylan lyrics from 1962 to 1985 <laughs> and some sort of Bruce Springsteen thing. I can't tell what's going on. Woo. Well, now... Now you are out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were in that one. But that one's blurry. Oh, that's the bad that's one? That's why we're using the phone, which is the oh, what God. you see on the right. Do you see? <laughs> oh, God. So it's prime time in our neighborhood for apparently for internet. So we apparently. are we are our our share is small here in this communist center of equal distribution. We have to we have to share evenly with all people. So we get very little internet. I guess. I don't know. It never did this before, but give us a song, little Harris. Father coming back on my friends, they've been wondering where I've been. I went up the deep end this time, it was a good swim. I've been running around somewhere, never thought I'd be this far again. Well, I never would have thought it any told. Kind of reads that kid away Crossing country then going back Back to New York to figure it out Back to the place I love you right out Land Well, work's piled up Fishes ain't done I've been stuck on the telephone Ain't been sleeping my bed I'd rather be in yours instead champion <laughs> that 
That reminds me that when I was in high school, we got letter jackets. Um, do you know about letter jackets? You get them for like, you get like the letter from your high school, like a, mine was an M from Midway, and then you get like different patches on it for like achievements, like sports, or in my case, choir. You were a good kid <laughs> and a, a good singer. Kid. And uh, my friend Sarah said, I'll get champ on the tail, and you can get chump. <laughs> and that's what I did, because I was a really champ good. champ and a chump? <laughs> so I was, I was going to be a champion all these years later instead of a chump. Oh, man. <laughs> that's what I think of when I see the word champion. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. Thanks. <laughs> and I'm looking up at the sky. I'm looking all the time. Is that you circling around? When are you coming down? When will I see your face again? When will I get to have that skin I'm craving? Well, work's pound that fishes ain't done. I've been stuck on the telephone. Ain't been sleeping in my bed. I'd rather be in yours instead. Yes, I've got Songs for play sure. new songs. Yeah. Play, uh, let's bring it down. Okay. Let's bring it down. Play. Um, <laughs> we can go. Play Sam's. Oh, okay. I was gonna say we can bring it way down. Jamie's got a bunch of new songs, and I got a bunch of new songs, and uh, we're we're just working them out. And uh, thanks for hopping on the stream and uh, giving us. An audience, sorry, the video is not as good as the audio, but uh, we can't control that. It's a, uh, it's a stream problem in our neighborhood. There's too many people online right now. So, uh, sorry. Good to see you, oh my friend. I've been hiding out again. I have this feeling that you would understand. Spending too much time roaming for a moment, I'll start feeling good again. Go on down the Is that how we met? Sam, don't run the place no more. 
They got rock stars living in the back. You and I, I guess that we don't think too much on that. We just talk out by the fire. Even though I know you hate it Just like our friend that died Who is he really gone? Or in the wind I think I'm spinning out of the wind I don't remember it I can't forget it Is that how we met? Pretty soon you'll head north So will I, we'll say goodbye And then return when the leaves have changed their color Tell the stories of our loves that fell apart out on the road. If we had better sense, we would just join our hearts. Or have we ever? I don't remember it. I can't forget it. Is that how we? Back when the place was still and biker bar, I'd come up late and put them down. Cause not a soul I ever knew was hanging round. No one cared if I drove off into the night to greet the flashing lights. They tied me up, put me back inside. Is that how we met? Well, it seems it's finally happened like I knew it would in good time my friend I know I've finally lost my mind spending too much time alone and for a moment I'll start feeling good again go on down to Sam's <laughs> This is such a good song. Thank you. I can't believe I forgot about that song. I don't know what happened. It just like went out of my brain and we were playing one of these pop-up shows recently. I was like, oh, Sam's. It's a good song. Thank you. I like how it winds back around to the beginning at the end. It's the cycle of being trapped in a in, in addiction. Mm -hmm. It's the cycle that you, you can't you can't really figure out how to get out of when you're in it. And uh, the song does what, what the character is living. I think that's brilliant. Thank you. I was listening to an unhealthy amount of Towns Van Zandt when I wrote that song. I, I can't feel it. <laughs> there, yeah, I was like, he does that a lot. That, that kind of circular thing. And, yep. Yeah. Yeah, he lived it. He lived it, right. And he killed him. And it, I, I was just about to say that exact sentence, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh... Oh, sorry, thank you. Uh... bit of a pop y'all sorry all right there we go that's a d in the mm -hmm. fifth fret this one's new
May eternity hold you in the hollow of her hand. May a soft wind enfold you as you travel distant lands. May the moon and stars delight you as the daylight dims. Till the morning sun warms your face till I see you again. sleep inside the stillness of the night till I see you again I love that part you found. Thanks. Remember that part. It's awesome. I'll try to remember. I don't know what that was, but it really worked. Please. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. I'll do a song we wrote, I think, exactly a year ago this week and uh, together in, as we were driving to Ghost Ranch in, outside of Taos. Yes, yes, yes. We were gone to, uh, to, to, to uh, visit the uh, painter's house, right? Mm -hmm. Georgia O'Keeffe, yeah. Yeah, to George, we were headed to Georgia O'Keeffe's house. And uh, the cra the, it's really little bitty roads in, in New Mexico, and it's only two lanes. and. Everything just ground to a halt, and we sat, and we sat, and we sat, and an hour went by, and we were still sitting, and suddenly helicopters came uh, from the hospital, and we knew that there was a very, very serious wreck in front of us. Uh, and uh, uh, as the helicopters uh, came in, uh, we started uh, uh, thinking about the souls of the people who were in that crash, and 
as the helicopters uh, uh, stayed and didn't pull out quickly. We knew that there was somebody who probably died up there and maybe a couple of somebodies. And Jamie had a song that she was working on and, and somehow, I don't know how, how it happened that we started, I don't know, you, you asked me if I would help, help you work on it because we couldn't move. We were mm -hmm. trapped. We couldn't go backwards. We couldn't go forwards. And, and so this song uh, came from that. When, when you travel like we do, you, you see a lot, of, uh, a lot of stuff on the highway, a lot of mortality stuff on the highway. And I guess this song is, is somewhat reflective of that mood that we were in, uh, praying for those poor people who got in a tragic crash. Please, uh, love to hear it. Every night he gets a bottle, puts it away right before bed. Sometimes he calls me and says, darling, there must be monsters. a drag I hear the crying baby's waking must be fed every night he gets a bottle puts it away right before bed Sometimes I think that I could love him, but then again it feels too soon. I know he's lonely and he's hurting, but everybody's got their we were 
by such different people The night we sang Gorgeous song, Harris. Good job, Gauche. That's a collaboration. Give me a song that that beautiful to to add some words to. Uh, <laughs> I can do that. Cool. Crescent City disappearing in my rear view mirror Just like she's always done Spent my life running from the ghosts of the VUCA ray Dirty spillway waters in the noonday sun of charity left their mark on me keeping secrets just makes you feel alone magazine street stole from me and I never thought I'd find my way home thank God for you Thank God for you Wake up in the morning I thank God for you Thank God for you Thank God for you Wake up in the morning I thank God for you Another junkie jonesing on the Greyhound bus With a 20-year ticket to a tortured mind Sirens, sorrow, cigarette butts Jesus and pieces broken as a highway line Thank God for you
Thank God for you. Wake up in the morning, I thank God for you. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Wake up in the morning, I thank God for you. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Wake up in the morning, I thank God for you. I do, I swear I do. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Wake up in the morning, honey, I thank God for you. thinking about for some reason at the end there I don't know why but I was uh, driving yesterday and I was like I just put on like play Buddy and Julie Miller like whatever you want and um, I guess they put out this song recently that the McCrary sisters sing on and, it, and I was remembering like one of the last times we played was after the Nashville tornado do you remember yeah we got to be on stage with the mighty 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 the McCrary, McCrary sisters, sisters singing oh happy day Oh my God! And it was, was so like, powerful. By the end, just like everyone was jumping, it was church. jumping up and down. Yes, it was so crazy. And I'm just like, oh, I miss, I miss hearing their voices. I miss seeing them. Their lovely faces. They just are so. I was just hearing them like, thank God for you, like singing on that. You oh know? yeah, we got to get them on there, oh, right? Yeah. Oh yes, indeed. Bring it to church. Yeah. If y'all don't know the McQuarrie sisters, um. Their claim to fame was uh, singing back up on the road and uh, in the studio with Bob Dylan during some of his gospel phase. Uh, they're gospel singers and they are uplifting. Uh, being on stage with them is like uh, adrenaline, a, jo yes. a liquid joy. Yes, it the is. The tambourine and the, I mean, we need a good dose of that. You know, we, we, we are, we are, uh, we are adrenaline uh, deprived here in uh, here in the uh, I don't know what you'd call it social distancing t the time of social distance actually you know we don't need social distance like we can be social we need physical distance we gotta be social or we just lose our minds you know we need each other I do know yes yeah I do know uh, Jamie's on the zooms every day helping folks with the streaming and audio and uh, you know I'm I'm walking in the park and, uh, you know, doing the five miles every day with different people, just trying to stay connected. And, uh, you know, I think we're going to get through this. Thank, thankful for music, I can tell you that. Without music, I don't know how we get through this. It's, uh, it's a godsend every day, but it's been an incredible godsend uh, during these uh, challenging times. And so this is another love song, and... Uh, it uh, goes like this. joy inside your laughter I'll think about your hand inside mine I'll think about the sweetness and 
your soft skin while I try not to think about time I'll think about my arms wrapped all around you. I'll think about the kindness in your eyes. I'll think about how you showed up my door still when I was trying not to think about time so many roads so many towns between So many stairs to climb So many thoughts to think As I miss you And I try not to think I'll think about your candlestick fingers on my skin. I'll think about the shiver in your side. I'll think about how much I want to kiss you as I try not to think about time. So many roads, so many towns between. Many nights, so many stairs to climb, so many thoughts to think as I miss you, and I try not to think. About time, I will try not to think about time. Love will come again. Okay. Would you? Sure. Well, or was there something else you had queued up no, in your I brain? No, I had nothing queued up in my brain.
happy to play what you'd like me to play. What are the people saying on the comments? I can't see it. Uh, they want to know the name of the song. It's called About Time. Yeah. And they're complimenting your har harmonies. Aw, thank you guys. Thanks, everyone. Um, yeah, I'll play this. Um, can I let the people know about the thing? Of course, sweetie. So, um, <laughs> I I kind of launched this, I didn't kind of, I did. I launched this thing, this the, the Folk and Roll fan club. Um, and it, it's going to have, it already does have some writings on there and some behind the scenes photos and we'll be continued to be updated with things like that. And there's a song there too, uh, which is On the Surface, which I recorded with Mark Hallman at the Congress House Studio and Eliza Gilkison sings harmonies on it. And it's really fun. Um, so if you want to check that out, it's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash Jamie Harris. And uh, normally I throw up a banner, but it's like a really weird situation over here. But um, <laughs> but I would love for you to like come check it out and see. It's it's a monthly membership, so you get access to everything, no matter what the cost of the membership. Um, you can buy in as soon as or as low as three dollars. So, so if you're interested in that. <laughs> I'll translate. Thank you, please. <laughs> Jamie has set up a Patreon, and uh, if you would like to get behind the scenes photos and writings and uh, songs that haven't been released, uh, there's different levels of membership, but she's uh, basically uh, giving uh, an inside look at her process and would love to have you uh, involved. Uh, Patreon is a, is a uh, artist uh, uh, sort of uh, inside circle, and you... Uh, it's like a fan club. You buy a membership at a certain level and it gives you access to certain things and it helps artists to survive the, uh, the uh, lack of income right now, but it's also a way of getting uh, a closer to, to a songwriter that, that uh, uh, you want to, you know, to have more information on. So uh, Patreon, uh, Jamie Harris is up and running and uh, it's beautiful and interesting and she puts her heart and soul into it it's well worth uh jumping into a membership so give it a look thank you awesome translation <laughs> well i couldn't do it without you of course you could love is gonna come again Maybe when you're not quite looking Maybe tonight, my friend Maybe when you're driving The love will come And you will fall into a place You never thought you could fit in Love is gonna come again I know you don't believe me yet Stuck inside your head Wondering what you could have said In that bed Love will find you And remind you of the things You thought you'd give up feeling Love is gonna come again I know it hurts like hell
drove a fat and sweet you Maybe it'll come with the morning dew Right where those flowers grew And butterflies flew And on their wings They always bring the kind of peace To ease your grieving Love is gonna come Every time I hear that song, I love it more. Thank you. I absolutely love that song. I think that song is so good. Thank you. Thanks, thanks to you and thanks to Graham Weber for helping me with that song. Oh, I didn't do anything. You and Graham wrote that song. I put one word in that mm -hmm. song. Mm -hmm. um, and right now in Nashville, we live in Nashville, right now um, there's butterflies and lots of them. Everywhere, yes, they're that's coming. True. They're coming through. I think there's it's migration time, and uh, there's really big butterflies out at the park now where I hike. Oh yeah. Oh man, they're the blue with the blue uh, phosphorescent wings. Oh. Wow. Uh, and the orange ones and the yellow ones, uh, a lot of black ones. But it's uh, it's very much butterfly time, and they land on your shoulder and stuff. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, in Nashville, uh, fall comes every Labor Day. It just hits like it just knows that it, we're we're gonna have a change of season. I'm sure there'll be some more 90 degree days, but um, you know the the uh, cucumbers gave up. They're done. Squash plants, nope. They're done. It's time for uh, it's time for winter winter garden planting, and uh, uh, lettuces and broccolis, cauliflowers, uh, root vegetables. I might do it. I might do it. I, I don't think COVID's ending anytime soon. We can do a winter veg, uh, winter garden too, and uh, uh, see how we do back there. Um, I had uh, some luck this year as a gardener, uh, but I'm definitely not a green thumb. The uh, the two things that did really well, well, three things. Jalapenos, mm -hmm. which I didn't even know were jalapenos. I thought I just got green peppers. I, you thought you got bell peppers or something. I, got, right? I thought I had bell peppers, but we bought jalapenos, and boy, did they make jalapenos. My God, we got so many jalapenos out of one plant. Uh, okra, which is still flowering and, and making plants. The okra is like, it's going to move into the bedroom or something. It's like going to take over. Yeah, it's like Jack and the Beanstalk <laughs> okra yes, back Yes, it there. is. It's crazy. It's very, very tall. It's, it's about nine feet tall now of okra, and it's still at the very top making okra. It's crazy happy back there. And we did real good with eggplant. Yeah, we did do, which I have, I was fearful for the eggplant, but the eggplant was rocking. The air, eggplant did good. I feel bad about the cabbage. I put the cabbage in the ground, and I promised it would be happy here, and it would live. And yeah, the cabbage died it first. Not, it died first. The cabbage died first. I still feel bad yeah. about it. Yeah, and the squash never, we didn't give it enough room. It needed oh. more room to run, so we had a lot of flowers, but they didn't stay. A lot of squash blossoms, we could have stuffed them and just grabbed them and stuffed them. But uh, we kept waiting for squash that didn't come. But that's okay, because we got enough okra for the rest of our life. Right. Yeah. And play a couple more songs here. Um, uh, how about... Uh, I'm a little bit flat there. steam train Maury died last night his wife wandered by his side he caught the westbound out of here hopped the irons to the by and by they say he jumped 10,000 trains rode a million miles for free helped out at VA hospitals and penitentiaries dandy Dave Rusty nails and sweet lady sugar cane. Dead eye Kate and a baloney kid raised their cups tonight in steam trains. And they, senators and congressmen, 
up its own strain among windswept vagabonds steam train was king the last of the hobo kings the last of the hobo kings Bums they just drink and wander around. Tramps dream and wander too. But a hobo was a pioneer and he preferred to work for food. He knew how our nation was doing by the length of a sidewalk cigarette butt. Born with an aching wanderlust, embedded in his gut. Hounded, beaten, laughed at, broke. Chased out of every town with his walking stick scepter, with his shredded coffee can crown, the last of the hobo kings, the last. The last Freeman are hobos. Steinbeck said and paid them cash. And the stories he bought from them helped him write the grapes of wrath. But boxcars have been sealed for years and trespassers do time. Railroad yards are razor wired, now hoboing's a crime. So he's to you, steam train more. Hold that westbound tide as you ride off into history, the last hobo, the last ride, the last of the hobo kings, the last. <laughs> oh, okay. Jamie Harris. I don't think I should have eaten all that fried rice. <laughs> I had a lot of fried rice. I'm like. Jamie had an entire box <laughs> of Trader Joe's chicken fried rice for dinner. A microwave special. I really did. It was. It was I, on the other hand, had a salad. 
Yeah, and with so, bacon. I should have. <laughs> I should have done what you did. <laughs> I think yours might have been healthier given the bacon. I don't know. Well, I had chicken in it, so I mean, well, and then I had it with a side of cheese bread, so I think I, <laughs> I just went all out for the carbs, and now uh, it's like. You oh, know, God. I read an article in the Times this morning, written by a woman who who had COVID, and she's 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 uh, past it. But she has not gotten her sense of taste or smell oh, back. Oh my gosh! And she she really illuminated just how hard it is to go through your days without taste or smell. Well, that's interesting. I would like to read about that. You know, one of the great joys that we can experience during this time is food, and you know, a lot of our skinny friends are getting pretty heavy <laughs> because food is one of the things that we can experience that's that's that brings joy you know if I wasn't hiking that five mile trail every day I'd be I'd be shopping for new pants by now but the the hiking keeps it off of me but well, but hiking to, also makes you crave healthier foods. Is it makes too. me not want to like eat cycle. pizza because it's hard to hike five miles in the very hilly outskirts of Nashville but I do, uh, I, I do wonder, like, gosh, will there, since they, they say it does come back, but for some people it takes a really long time. Oh so gosh. eating is meaningless if you can't taste or smell. Well, also, like, isn't smell, like, the strongest sense of memory that you have? That too, yeah. Like, what a weird thing to be, to, to not be connected to during this time, or any time, I guess. But. Right, right, right. It's a... Uh, it's a strange, uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, a um, symptom of, of, of the virus, uh, to, to have your taste removed and smell removed simultaneously. What a strange symptom. And uh, it's, 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 she said of all the things that happened to her, that's the worst. Whoa. Because you can't. Because it's so disorienting. It's disorienting and. And uh, and there's no, like, if you've got a cough, you can, I mean, most of the time you can kind of feel like when you're on the mend, right? Or, you know, like anything, like a headache, you, like anything, you can, for the most part, like, if you're on the mend, you can kind of feel it, right? Like every day gets better, but just to have it gone and then yeah, so when completely you, there's like, no say sign of when it's coming you're back. You're eating the fried rice <laughs> with chicken from Trader Joe's to experience it the way that that brings pleasure she has to try to remember what that might taste like because it's only a texture. There's no smell and no taste to it. Oh, that's right. Because not even taste like you, because without, sometimes if you have a smell, oh, God. Taste and smell work in, in tandem. Exactly. Yeah. Gosh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, gosh. I love food so much. I have such a I hard know. time ja Jamie and imagining. I are, are real big eaters. <laughs> no dreamsicle ice cream. Like real big eaters. Although after seven months of cooking, I'm kind of, I'm cooked out. You know, yeah. it's, it's takeout tacos. Salad's not really cooking, though. Salad is, you know, you just put a bunch of stuff in a bowl with some really good olive oil and really, really good balsamic vinaigrette. It's, it, it holds me over, and I feel good about myself when I do it but um, I mean we're, we're definitely uh, we're definitely sick of cooking we're sick of it we're sick of COVID we're sick of being we're sick of being um, under the question mark of of not knowing when this comes to an end and uh, and yet we've got to persevere we've got to stay strong we've got to make good choices we can't let the uh, the the weariness wear us down uh, and have us make bad choices. Uh, there's people who who've made bad choices this weekend, and in two weeks they're gonna they're gonna regret it. And I, we we just don't want to be amongst uh, that because uh, uh, it's really dangerous. And so uh, you know we're sticking close to the house and social distance from everybody, and we're making we're making good choices even though we're sick of it. And uh, you know there's uh, there's. There's people who've had it a whole lot harder. We just got to persevere, and uh, uh, stick stick to the plan, uh, and and we will, we will until 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 the the uh, until 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 the time is right uh, to uh, to proceed 
there's a there's really a crisis out there, and acting like it's not happening is not yeah I, is not wise. Uh, and uh, so we we we'll, we'll pop up and play music for y'all and write songs. I finish some, finish my book, start another book. Uh, we'll we'll just create and uh, uh, stay safe, and y'all stay safe too. Wear the mask, make good choices, social distance. You don't have to social distance, physical distance, so <laughs> socialize, physical distance, um, and uh, uh, we'll get to the other side of this until until the crisis is over. What you got for us on the surface, or what you what's coming? Well, the way you were talking made me think about this song. Like the Love that song too, Thank so you. much, so much. It takes a lot of vocal control to sing that, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm getting. Yeah, I just I had a lot of even just it takes a lot of courage because it feels like um, for a lot of reasons it takes a lot of courage. Well, because you feel like you're showing off. Kind of, and it's just so. Yeah, but, but I get, yeah, but but at the same time, like I really. On the record, you know, I'm really, really proud of that song because it's so, I mean, Craig really stretched me with that, which is really fun. And one of my favorite guitar players of all time, Mike Hardwick, as you know, he's played with Eliza Gilkison for a long time, plays this solo that just knocks me out. And every, like, it just, I think it's really beautiful and I hear it in my head. But, um, so I was really proud because that moment is like one of, one of my favorite moments on the record and it would have happened without this song. And. Um, but I think I've only played it live maybe twice when we played the record straight through. Yeah, you got to work that back and... into your set. You got it. It's a it's it, 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 it it's a definitely a vocal showcase song, uh, but it, it it's um it, it's a it's a uh, um, a song that really uh, it, it creates emotion in the listener, and the way that the voice comes in 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 large. And then it pulls back soft, and then big, and then soft. Uh, I can tell that take. I mean, I couldn't sing it, but but uh, the the control that it takes to do that is is just admirable. 
Thank you. I don't think of it as showing off. I think it of it as uh, God gave you a gift. And uh, it would be almost selfish not to share it. <laughs> Thank you. Don't you think? I haven't thought. I mean, sure. I mean, if I could, I would. I'd. I'd, I'd sing that way if I could. I, I mean, I've got a very limited range, and I make do with what I've got. But, but I think that that is a gorgeous song with your voice. Did you write that by yourself, or is that a co-write? No, I wrote that with Craig Ross. You wrote that with Craig. Yeah, we needed another song on the record, and and uh, we there were two of them actually. The last song on the record that didn't exist before we started recording, and he set me down for it was like the third day we had four days of tracking with a band and on the third day um, he sent me and my guitar player who also plays piano into this room um, and where we recorded that record was the same place where patty griffin recorded an impossible dream and so when brian sat down at the piano he started playing this thing it was like wow i'd heard that piano a million times on that you record. know that I, piano i yeah. know that piano so they brought the last song on the record and then we kind of thought the record and we he knew we didn't and so he he was like, well, what about this melody? And then he just sent me home with it to write lyrics. And um, that's that's how it became. Yeah, I'm glad that. he pushed you. Me too. I, I, I think that it stretched. It stretched uh, the record and it stretched your confidence that you could do that. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Hey, well, Craig. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. There you are. <laughs> how about one more and we call it a night? Yeah, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, sounds good. Gaucher's getting a little weird. I have, I'm having like... Fried rice yawning. I'm just like. Yeah, Jamie's too, falling asleep. I'm here. having a carb overload. I just shouldn't have done it. <laughs> wake me back up, Goshe. Uh, wake me back up. Let's let's get a groove going oh, here. Thank you. Thank y'all for jumping on the stream, and uh, we appreciate you uh, being part of our, uh, our our time of COVID, <laughs> and. Uh, um, Appreciate the support as well. It really is uh, uh, wonderful to to be on the receiving end of so much generosity. Thank y'all so much. Really, truly grateful. Uh, and I wrote this song after a dear friend of mine passed away unexpectedly. Um, he went out. We were at this festival. It's a balloon festival um, uh, out in Western Massachusetts, and. Uh, we were going to be playing the, I think, the following weekend at the a, 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 fe a folk festival, and uh, he went out for a run, uh, and he came back to the hotel room. We were all at the um, Holiday Inn Express in Western Massachusetts, and he had a heart attack, and he passed away, and, and uh, uh, it was just such a shock. Uh, he, he, his name is Dave Carter, and we got our break in the music business at the same time, and so we. We're climbing the ladder of success together as peers, and when when you break with someone, that's a bond, you know. Like we we were stunned at the same time that we got these opportunities, and we got them at the same festivals the same year, and so uh, this was a couple of years into to touring, and things were going pretty good for them and pretty good for me, and you know the sky was the limit. He had toured with with Joan Baez. Uh, being in her band. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, about Dave him. and Tracy were in her band. Oh, I didn't know that about them. Either. I think they opened the shows and they were in the band. And Joan was, of course, singing his songs too. And then, boom, gone. And so I wrote this oh. for Dave, and uh, uh, sort of put put my emotions into a jazz funeral. And I got this weird rhythm. I don't know where it came from. I never wrote another thing like this. And I don't know how I wrote this thing. Really, it's outside my wheelhouse altogether, but here it is. And so this one is for Dave. And, and I always think of souls that have passed, that, uh, uh, that, that, that this jazz funeral that would be thrown for a musician, you know. So I guess we'll send this one out to, to JT tonight. Uh, may his soul uh, find eternity. And it's called The Wheel Inside the Wheel. souls marches across the sky their heat and light bathed in blue as they march by while the all-stars play when the saints go marching in on 
Until the second line forms They wave white hankies in the wind Sajmo takes a solo, flashes the million dollar smile Marie Laveau promenades with Oscar Wilde Big funky Stella twirls a little red umbrella to the beat As the soul parade winds its way down eternity street Souls ain't born, soul don't die Soul ain't made of earth, ain't made of water, ain't made of sky Ride the flaming circle, wind the golden reel, and roll on, brother, in the wheel inside the well. Mardi Gras Indians chant in the street at sundown. Spy boy meets spy boy, big chief meets big chief uptown. Why they circle and sway in rainbow colored feathers and beads? Mm, they prance like peacocks, children of slavery free. Souls ain't born, soul don't die. Soul ain't made of earth, ain't made of water. Ride the flaming circle, wind the golden ring. Crossbones parades into the sun. They walk through the fire, then come out beating drums. While the French Quarter Queens in high heel drag disguise, they sing over the rainbow till Judy Garland quivers inside. Souls ain't born, so don't die. Soul ain't made of earth, ain't made of water, ain't made of sky. Ride the flaming circle, wind the golden rim. Like the walkway to Lucky Pierre. They're having a party tonight, and all the girls will be there. They'll be sipping that wormwood concoction, drinking absinthe, and talking trash. Oh, it's a red carpet, black tie, all night celestial fast.
about the flaming circle Wind the golden ring Roll on, brother y'all for jumping in. Wait. Sunday afternoon, 2 o'clock Central Time. We'll be back. We'll have Jimmy Dale Gilmore as our guest, and I can't wait to talk to him. Jamie's got me watching The Big Lebowski. He was in that movie. Smoky. Amongst the other things that he's done, uh, he's a very sweet man, and we get to spend time with him Christmas every year uh, down in Terlingua, Texas. So it'll be good to see him on the stream Sunday afternoon, the great Jimmy Dale Gilmore. You're just the wave, you're not the water. His version of that song is so great. Butch wrote it, Jimmy nailed also, it. Also, that record he made with that Buddy Miller produced. I love that record. Oh, it's a beautiful record. Yeah, I love that record. And just everything he's, I mean, I, and I just, I just love Jimmy Dale. I know, Dale. He's, he's. There's nothing like Jimmy Dale Gilmore leaving you a voicemail. He was like, hi, this is Jimmy Dale Gilmore, in like the most distinctive speaking like, voice of all we time. Know it's it's like, we know Jimmy Dale Gilmore. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> we'll, we'll see y'all soon, and uh, please take care. Uh, don't, 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 don't take any unnecessary risks. We got to get through this thing uh, alive. Wear the mask, stay physically distant, and we'll see you on Sunday. Y'all be good. Take care. <laughs>